Now to a story from our, from our rather, lead national correspondent, that's David Begnaud, about a woman being celebrated all around the world for her insistent kindness. I like that, insistent kindness. David traveled to Oceanside, California to meet Gail Noble. The 77-year-old spends her days driving around town just doing random acts of kindness for people. Along the way, David found the fascinating backstory about how Gail's own daughter, it seems funny to say your own name, Gail's own daughter is embracing her mother's life, approach to life by helping others, seeing the beauty in Gail's generosity. As I travel around America, I'm always looking for those stories of ordinary people. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Doing really kind things for others. And that brought me to Oceanside, California, and the door of Gail Noble. Yeah. Hi, Gail. Hi. I'm David. I'm Gail. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Yeah. Rocking that Grateful Dead tie-dye shirt and her signature plush hat. This hippie at heart is driven to give. Oh my, my, look at all of these goodies. Since she retired, she has made a job out of making people feel good. What you got in here? The muffins and the Oreos for the post office. Almost every day, she drives around Oceanside, delivering goodies to people she thinks are working those thankless jobs like the post office, where she used to work. Your muffins. She skirted the line and a little bit of personal space. Thank you. Yeah. No time to chit chat. She was off to her next spot at the UPS store. Thank you, Gail. Oh, you're so welcome. Keeping us fed. She'll tell us, you guys have to have such a hard job. I know what you're going through. I've done it before. And here's some muffins uh, to get you through the day. And boy, does that make their day. As we saw following her around Trader Joe's. Thank you so much there. Oh, oh my God, Gail. Give some love. Oh, you're so welcome. Uh, every day, this woman, yeah. she's an angel. There's a, <laughs> there's a halo under this hat. When did you start doing this, these random acts of kindness? I probably I was like, five or six, my grandpa would let me go to the store and um, buy different things and then he would take me where I wanted to give them. He started, you know, nurturing that. In you? Yeah. To give to others? He said that's our job in life. And that lesson she took to heart. Which uh, cookies do you want? So much so that her youngest daughter Nissa describes her mother's generosity as aggressive kindness. And there's the cookie. Oh, oh. Most people will perform the niceties, ask you if, oh, maybe would you like? No, you're getting a cookie. You were getting a muffin. Oh, thank yes. you so much. And by the way, I know you didn't even want one. You're going to get 12. 12 every week. Right. <laughs> Look, Gail is unapologetically herself. The type of person who picks up a penny off the floor. Someone dropped a penny, and I don't want your register to be short. The person who puts those dividers back in place in the grocery store line. When you see her, you might judge this book by its cover. But let me tell you what's inside. Gail was a female chief engineer at a Los Angeles radio station in the 1970s. She didn't know another woman with that job. Friends tell us that in the 1980s, Gail designed the interface chip for one of the earliest home computers, and the chip was named after her. She went on to have more than 50 patents to her name in different technology fields. So radio led you to being a computer engineer and writing code? Yeah. For the U.S. military? What got me to do that was Vietnam War. They put me on the stealth fighter and a couple other things. And those were the codes that told them who was the enemy and who was the friend. Mm-hmm. What I wanted to do was save lives. Yet again, you wanting to help people. Yeah. Thank you so much, can I have a hug? And that has been a hallmark of her life, and at times, a hardship for Nissa. But I was never very close with my mom. Because she was so different? <sighs> She's a little hard to get close to. I mean, yeah. you've seen how she is. She does yeah. her drive-by kindness. Yeah. It's kind of like a yeah. delivery yeah. service. Yeah. And then after my dad died, 
I did some work on myself, you know, it takes some work. And what did you figure out? I found out that she is just a vessel for giving and mm. being loving. Mm. And that's all she wants to do. And you can't help but be moved by that. And now, Gail's giving nature is moving people all over the world. Thank you very much. Thanks to Nissa, who created and manages Gail Tales. It's an Instagram account dedicated to Gail's kindness. What was your wish for your children to be when they grow up? What they wanted to be. It's a place where people shower this 77-year-old widow with nothing but love. Because of Gail's kindness, I chose to be better. I follow Gail because I like her kindness, but also I think I believe she's a role model. You're a perfect example of how everybody should act all the time and just not waste time judging others. The response has been overwhelming. Yeah, they love her so much. And I think they love what she represents. It's giving a lot of people freedom to be themselves. And that, what a beautiful thing to be loved and accepted for who you are. There is such a beauty in you going from the child who understandably is embarrassed to the daughter dedicated to honoring and saluting her. Thank you. Yeah, it was hard. You are the daughter who took on a mission to honor her mom. I didn't and think I would get so emotional. That is beautiful. Thank you. And now at 37 years old, Nissa feels pride watching her mother be herself. What I get out of it is the joy of knowing that I've added some spark into each one of them. I love that, Gail. That's the best part. Yeah. Isn't that the best feeling? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. David Begno, you did it again. Listen, that's a perfect story of not to judge a book by its cover. I mean, I love the candor mm. of the daughter saying mm. that how she struggled with it because when you look at Gail's look, you, you instantly could form some judgments and then you hear her backstory yeah. and why she does what she does and who she is. It's amazing. Look, guys, here was my takeaway as I left them in Oceanside. As kids, we want our parents to love us just the way we are. But yeah. you know what? We got to do the same. We got to mm. give our parents the freedom to be exactly who they are. And as we age, we change as life moves on. And we got to give them the same grace we're looking for. And that That's was good. my lesson as I left them. That's good. Yeah. That's a good lesson. That is good. good. Flipping the lens there. And, you know, it does take time when you're a kid. You've got to grow into that yes. perspective. You, you really sure. can't get it until you're in your 30s. She said exactly she had to right. do some work on herself yeah. in order to appreciate right. her mother more. And, and yeah. it still makes her emotional. But look for a run on those green fuzzy hats. <laughs> yeah. We're thinking, I want one of Gail's hats. David, is there a quick explanation? Yeah. When did she start wearing the hats? Yeah. Oh, Tony, I think that's been a years-long thing. It's an everyday okay. deal. It wasn't just for this story. That's just Gail's look. No, we could tell that. Yeah, we <laughs> could tell. She had a, quite a few of them as well. Yes. Well, uh, that type of giving is contagious, exactly. which is a beautiful thing. I like what Nessa said, aggressive kindness. Aggressive kindness. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Persistent. Great. David, nice. thank that's you very much. Appreciate it.